All right, you guys, welcome to Trade Confident. Um, this is a kind of a crazy day. I just came out with a video showing you guys on Ethereum. I just sold all of my Ethereum um, at the top here. Uh, basically, I sold it at uh, basically around 2,200, excuse me, 2,359, very close to that price. I'll show you guys the sell order over here that I did. Ethereum, I exited all of this up here at 2,353. So 2,353, let's actually mark that up correctly on here. 2,353. Okay, there we go. That's the exact price. So I did exit all of this. Make sure you guys watch that video. I'll show you why. It is all due to the metrics over here at tradeconfident.io. Yes, it's 49 bucks a month. I didn't plan on landing on that page, but let's go over Dogecoin right now because I actually ended up selling all of my Dogecoin today as well. And I'll show that to you guys right here. Dogecoin, I ended up selling at 22 cents. And let me show this to you guys over here on Dogecoin because we are heading down just a little bit from where I sold in here. Um, i seen a little bit a red candle down. Now, let me make this disclaimer in here, guys. Dogecoin and Ethereum, although I have sold 100% of my position, yes, I came out here and I made a profit about $540, $46 in the last, um, this is about four days that I've been trading um, into the profit for these positions, if you guys have been following me, okay? So this isn't ticking up or down. It's a complete profit. I'm very proud of myself, if I can say that on here, for taking an exit. And here is why. Let's go over the metrics and I'll show this to you. So the trend exhaustion, historically, when we've seen this get up to these top red sections here, we see drops in the market. So when we saw it up into the top red section, we saw a nice drop down here. We see it peaking up into this top red zone here around this area. We saw a drop. We saw it massively over here. And then we saw a nice drop in the market, which pushed us all the way back down. We saw this peak up over here as well. And then we saw a drop in the market. We're seeing this again right now. And I am expecting to see another drop in Dogecoin. Now, just because I exited 100% doesn't mean I'm not looking to reinvest. I am looking to reinvest into Dogecoin and Ethereum and all my my positions here, but I'm waiting for a higher low to form. So we have a low, a high, a higher low, higher high, higher low to form in here. Let's go over the metrics and I'll show you guys why I ended up exiting this. If you go over to Dogecoin, we are pushing up and we need to make sure we watch this at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And, and yes, I am jumping the gun a little bit on this. I actually cannot, I don't know what these metrics are going to look like. I get updated, honest, honest to God, I get updated with you guys at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with you. So it's not like I have anything um, that I know that you don't know, okay? So two hours hours, these are going to update. I have a feeling that this is going to start pushing up in, us up into the excited area just because I can see what this looks like for price structure of where um, Dogecoin has headed, okay? If we get into the excited area, look what happened last time. We saw a drop in the market. We saw excited in the market. We saw a drop. We got, had, saw excited and greedy. We saw a drop in the market. We pushed up to greedy. We saw another drop in the market. Here is what I want you guys to take home from this video today. Those of you guys who have access to these metrics, I am following these, and this is what I'm doing. I'm going to follow metrics that are right. Literally, I was showing this on um, Ethereum, but you can see this on Dogecoin. I would confidently say 75 to 85 percent of the time, these metrics are calling the tops and the bottoms very, very well. I would rather follow a strategy, these metrics that are right, let's call it 80 percent. Honestly, I could push this to like 90, but I'm going to say 80 percent of the time these are correct. I would rather trade that way, guys, for the next 10 years of crypto than try to get excited and hold on for dear life to have this go to the moon. I don't trade like that. I take my profit, I reinvest, and I I. Profit, I reinvest. I profit, I reinvest. I take advantage of compound interest, and it's actually arguably you can make more exiting and reinvesting, exiting and reinvesting than you can holding. It's very true. Those who hold, those who buy and hold will never take advantage of compound interest. Okay. And you can come in here and make an argument saying if we both bought down here, like literally I bought Dogecoin at 16 cents down here. You guys saw that on this video. And now I'm taking a profit this morning. And on that portion, you know, I'm making it, I just made about 35% on my Dogecoin because I sold it. Great. Those of you guys who are holding for dear life in here, you have to go through the swings up and down. Now it could keep going higher. So I don't want to like bash any of this. Yes, it could keep going higher, but I'm looking to reinvest. Let's take a look at the metrics over here. We see that the long trades are increasing, but short trades are increasing as well. So as the price starts moving up here, make sure you guys are watching these metrics. As this moves up in the market, this is what I'm watching. I'm watching to see, okay, are the short trades going to increase? Because what I'm doing right now, guys, to give you guys a little insider into my mind, I am expecting people to sell this out this morning. And I am expecting to see a drop on Ethereum, and I'm expecting to see a drop on Dogecoin as well. It might not be as big of a drop as we think, but I am expecting to see some type of move down where I can reinvest. All right. Now coming over to Dogecoin here, if long trades increase, that's awesome. But as short trades increase, that's going to put pressure on Dogecoin continuing to head up. And that's what you need to watch. If a spike of short trades, 
listen carefully. If a spike of short trades comes in the market, when this metric updates, um, now it's 610, so it's about an hour and 50 minutes, and long trades move down, very good sign we could start seeing Dogecoin move back down towards um, lower prices, okay? Long for short trade risk, take a look at this, guys. Good short trade all day long on Dogecoin, okay? Now, last time we got up here, we ended up seeing a move down. Last time we got up here again, we saw a move down. Last time we were up here third time, we saw a move down. Fourth time we were up here, we saw a move down. Okay, literally the, the whole market cycle, we saw it true one, two, excuse me, one right here, one. We saw this two, three, four times. Those last four times, this is predicted a drop. I'm going to stick with historical metrics and data, and I'm going to trade this way. I'm not going to go off emotions and think this is the time we're going to the moon. No, if you do that, you guys are never going to have a co consistent trading plan and you're just gonna trade off the motions for the rest of your life, and that is not smart how you trade. I highly suggest you guys trade with back-tested data and that can prove uh, historically that we are due for drops. That is how I wanna trade, a system that is proving to us that it's been correct in the past. Well, and institutional smart money for Dogecoin. Let's take a look at this. Last time we started moving down to this area, we saw nice drops in the market. We saw this huge spike come out here, and this was around um, June. Let me, yeah, around June. This is when we saw another spike. So as this these meters start moving down here for Dogecoin into the short trade sentiment, and I believe today we're probably going to push down here and probably get close to around this maybe. Uh, let me pull this in a little bit tighter here. Probably around this 600 metric mark, between the 500 and 600 metric mark, which pushes us down right about here. I think that's where we'll probably see a metric come out today, but I don't know. We have to watch that. I am seeing this in the market, and I'm just going to follow what this is telling me, and I took an exit, guys. And you guys can see in here, this is not ticking anymore. All of these positions have been filled. I'll refresh this for you guys so you can see that, yes, all of these were actually taken live on the Ethereum video this morning. Um, let me go over this, and then I will go over some news I want to finish up on Bitcoin of why I think it, it rose everything, but let's take a look at this. Support resistance prices. <laughs> let's take a look at this. Where are we sitting right now? We're sitting at $0.22, cents and we're dropping out from there at the moment. So $0.22 cents puts us right about at this area. So this is a very strong resistance we saw on the chart. So right around this area, we had three of them just kind of hovering around this $0.22 cent area. The next resistance that's very strong is a psychological quarters theory number of 25 cents. Let me show this to you guys on the chart. So 25 cents is going to push us right about here. Yes, we could push to 25 cents and this could be a nice move up, but I do think we're going to see a little bit of a correction here like we're already seeing on uh, Dogecoin. And I think we're already probably seeing a little bit of a correction on Ethereum here as well. Um, yeah, so we're already seeing a correction on Ethereum. So since I sold this morning, if you guys are watching that video, if you're following me, if you're following the metrics, um, you know, this is already down probably about close to 2%, uh, about 1.5, 1.48, not, not close to two yet, about 1.5. This could shoot back up, but I'm just being honest with you guys. Let's finish this up here. If you guys are using the dollar cost average buys, everybody who bought into this bottom position here, when I came up with these metrics, all of you guys are in the profit. All of you guys, everyone's in the profit, but take a look at this. An exit point did come out for Dogecoin. Last time this happened, we saw a drop in the market. Before that, we saw a drop in the market. Before that, we saw a drop in the market. Before that, we overextended ourselves a little bit and saw a drop in the market. So one, two, three, four, maybe even call us a small little five. Like I'm not gonna call that a drop that it basically headed straight up, but you have to understand that while a coin is getting its um, cycle rate, but basically like the psychology of a market cycle, a lot of things pump and a lot of indicators and metrics don't do too well when you have initial pumps. That's just professional traders know this, hedge fund traders know this, like we all know this, like we know it's going to throw things out of whack. But now that we've had a good amount of data, these are the signals we can really trust and rely on are these up here where we're perfectly calling the drop here, we call the drop here, call the drop there. This is telling me we are expected for a move back down. So as I watch that, I'm going to be seeing, like look at this, we're already dropping down on Dogecoin today and, and this is down close to about 2.83%. Let's see how low we go here. But I did exit all of my position on Dogecoin. Let's take a look at this article of why this might actually be happening. This is probably the most... I don't know, relevant article, I guess we could say. Bitcoin spikes 11% as Insider reveals Amazon's plans to accept Bitcoin payment by year's end. This could be ridiculous, guys. Let me just get straight to the chase and we'll quote this. Um, okay, I'll read this. It gives some context. On July 25th, British... Um, publication City AM reported that the retail behemoth is definitely preparing, definitely preparing to integrate Bitcoin payments later this year, citing an insider familiar with the knowledge. This isn't going through the motions to set up cryptocurrency payment solutions at some point in the future. This is a full-on, well-disclosed, integral part of the future mechanism of how Amazon will work, the insider said. <clears throat> okay. 
I, I don't know if you can here. Okay. I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking personally for with all the years of trading, all the years of looking at all this, I am not going to be, I'm not trusting this as much as I am the metrics. I have seen news come out many times that have been absolutely, um, disgustingly manipulative. Honestly, if I can be real with you guys to retail traders where they will come out and they will start dumping on something just to get retail traders to sell. And then the price will spike. There is no wonder you hear sell, sell the news and buy the doom. I've told that to you guys before. Yes, a f um, couple days ago when I was watching this on Saturday, I was seeing so many bearish articles coming out saying, oh my gosh, like like uh, Bitcoin's going to drop right at the high. And then I was like so frustrated to see that because they were ranking articles on Google. They came out right around this area, tons of bearish articles, and then we shot straight back up. It was like... Ugh. I, I, so anyways, I don't cover news a lot on these these uh, videos because I trust the volume. You want to know what Wells are doing? Well, I'll tell you exactly what they're doing. Well, let's take a look at the trades that they're put, putting into the market and take a look at the long and the shorts, okay? Let's took, take a look at the long trade sentiment. This is what I'm going to rely on, not on the news because that can be manipulated a ridiculous amount. So if you guys want access to these metrics and help yourself exit like I just did, this is over at tradeconfident.io. You guys can snag this. I think I showed this to you guys in the beginning already. It's 49 bucks a month, guys. It's not much at all. I promise you, if you get this in your pocket, it will probably be one of the best investments you ever make into crypto. Okay, so God bless you guys so much. Let's see what happens here. I have sold all of my Doge. I sold all of my Ethereum. I also sold, just to let you guys know, I sold all of my ADA at the top here, um, right at that yellow line. And so we're dropping from there this morning. And I use this metrics to call these drops. Okay, guys, have a good one. God bless you. I'll keep you updated on these videos. I'll see you in the next one. Alrighty, bye-bye.